Morning, beautiful people. This is Brad from the beach. John and I are still obviously here at Carolina Beach and uh, shooting this as we shot the other two right before this vacant lot behind us uh, with mother's statement ringing in my mind and heart, uh, time changes things. But time does not change the nature of the God that we serve. He's timeless. And the promises of God, they're all yea and amen in Christ Jesus. So we are the beneficiaries of a God who created us and loves us and who will walk us all the way back to the house for all eternity. I want us to turn to Psalm 103, just the first five verses of it. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all of your iniquity, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. You catch all the promises in just these first five verses here of Psalm 103. This, this is a word that simply says, you have a God who is aware of every need that you have. You have a God who has the ability and the heart to meet those needs that you have. And when you read something like this, where you live in a world where there's brokenness, where there's hurt and where there's despair and loneliness and fear and doubt, and you, you hear these promises from the one who created you. Question, what are we going to believe? A world out here that's ever changing? Or are we going to trust and believe in the one who created us and made these promises to us and then gave your son to die in our place so that these promises could become a reality for you and for me. So, so today, I just want to affirm from my perspective, he is sent. He has sent his word. He will heal all of our diseases. There will a time come when there is no more crying, no more brokenness, no more sickness, no, no more disease. There is that time coming. But in between that time and this time, as we journey back to the house, we have these promises that according to the scripture are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. So can I challenge you today in this day at the beach where it's overcast, drizzling just a little bit, and where it's a little chilly out here, can I challenge you? Put your faith and your trust in Christ Jesus. Timothy was told and encouraged, tell your people, not to put their hope in the things of the world and the riches of the world, but to put their hope in Christ Jesus. In this season, for you and me, time does change things. But what it does not change is the nature of the God who is a loving Father, who cares for us, who has promised the best for us, and who will redeem us to the very nth degree as he takes us back to the house. So in this season, rejoice and, and have hope and just put your hope in him, not in the stuff that this world offers. Doesn't mean we can't enjoy this world. He made it, it's his world. It doesn't belong to the devil. But as we live in it and we reflect his nature, we can be part of the kind of redeeming of this world that we live in. Scripture tells us that all of creation has groaned and travailed until this time to see the glorious liberty of the children of God. You and I have a liberty in Him. We know what His promises are. Let's lay hold of them and in faith go forward trusting Him and trusting in His promises. This has been Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.